Merry Christmas. I bid you peace and welcome this night as we gather for worship before we offer our collective welcoming. We'll give thanks for everyone with big mufflers. Um, we will uh, take a moment and pause and just give a, a, a moment of prayer to all those who are struggling with this current wave of COVID infections. We are going to do everything we can to protect each other in the name of Christ. So please do keep your masks on for the service itself. I will be sanitizing before I touch any of the elements. I will also be sanitizing before I prefer communion. And I ask you too, as well, to make use of the offered hand sanitizer so we can practice good hygiene. Please also, when you come forward for communion, practice safe distancing. And as you return to your places where you're sitting, please be aware of the people around you and support them as well. We are honored and blessed to be gathered here in witness to Christ being born in our midst. And we give thanks for the opportunity we have to care for and love each other as best we can this night and always. Please join me in the collect of welcoming. Holy Spirit, living within us, send to St. Peter's all who are hurting or in need, all who are searching for you or for answers in their lives. Prepare us this day to receive them as Christ would. Give us discerning hearts so that everyone who crosses our threshold feels welcomed in the spirit of your love. Help us to recognize each person as an individual sent by you who will enrich our lives. And most of all, O oh God, let this be a place of love and acceptance of all your children. In the name of your child, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known and from you, no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Please respond after I've offered the Spanish for the Trisagion, the thrice holy, with the Trisagion, the thrice holy in English. Santo, Santo Dios, Santo Poderoso, Santo Inmortal, ten piedad de nosotros. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God, you make us glad by the yearly festival of the birth of your only son, Jesus Christ. Grant that we who joyfully receive him as our redeemer may with sure confidence behold him when he comes to be our judge, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm tonight, Psalm 96, we will read responsively by half verse. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. 
Declare his glory among the nations. And his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. O oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes. When he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. A reading from Paul's letter to Titus. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled upright and godly while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great god and savior jesus christ he it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds the word of the lord Thanks Please rise. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered this was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you that you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Please be seated. There are four Christmases out of the last 27 that I have been ordained uh, that I give particular thanks for. Four. I mean, all the rest were great, but four stand out. This year stands out. Last year stands out. Several years ago, when Laura and I were at St. Andrews in New Providence, and we had live sheep at the pageant in the midst of a thundering rainstorm, and the sheep were outside in the wet, waiting to come in on their queue. And let's say they were relieved to come inside. <laughs> and the sanctuary of that church was redolent with the very smells 
of that stable in which Jesus was born. And then my very first Christmas that I was uh, serving as uh, a, an ordained person, we had uh, computerized lights in the church at St. Stephen's in Columbus. And when we hit a particular queue, there were some bats that were in the high tower over the altar. There was a beautiful stained glass brick panel that uh, let light in and sort of refracting and reflecting down into this tower, into this beautiful sanctuary. But there were a couple of bats that had gotten to the building were up there. And on cue, every time we lowered the lights to sing Silent Night, Holy Night at the end of the service, the bats, thinking it was time to go out and forage, flew down the aisle back and forth. What I'm saying to you is that we make the assumption from time to time that we can make Christmas be proper. And sometimes it is. Sometimes everybody gets to where they want to be on time. And sometimes every dish comes out of the oven or off the stovetop at the right moment. Sometimes everybody's in the right mood. But often and uniquely and beautifully, there are improper Christmases in which things don't go quite right, where expectations don't get met in the same way. But in the same way, every time we have the opportunity to be in the presence of God in Christ, to be with each other in relationship, to feel as those shepherds did as they were in the fields, that sense of the glory of the Lord shining around them. The awareness that the heralds of God have beckoned to us as much as they beckoned to those of ancient times to go to that place, that sacred place of gathering of observance, of mindful presence, to be aware that in our midst and not far off, God has chosen to be one of us, to walk with us in all the challenges, the proprieties, the improprieties, the opportune moments, the inopportune moments, the perfect moments and the imperfect moments, to be with us and experience them alongside us, to rejoice with us and also to lament with us. This is the essence of Christmas. You heard Laura speak about it. You heard Paul speak about it. When Isaiah proclaims to the people of Israel that there will come a time in which their exile will end, the rod of the oppressors that is against their back will be broken. The, the garments of the warriors that had been rolled in blood will be used as fodder for the cleansing fire that will bring everyone home as it lights the way for those returning from exile. In the same way that people struggle to find the right path, make the right choices, choose to act and speak in the right way in service and love to each other when people are hungry or in need or sick or need love and counsel and comfort, when we practice these things with the kind of awareness that God gives us in Christ, that everyone, and not just some few are worthy of our love and our tender respect. We have gathered here in the night, we have gathered here in the chill, we have gathered here outside in order to be present to each other and to Christ, to give thanks for the opportunity we have yet again, not only to cry out Merry Christmas, which we should do with abandon and joy, but also to mark and keep in our hearts the love of God that is made manifest this night more than any other night in the birth of a child in a humble setting on an improper Christmas, one that is memorable and true, one that we will never forget. Even as we gather for this slightly improper Christmas, I give thanks. We will never forget these Christmases out here on the yard. We sit here amongst all the saints in light, those who are present, those who are yet to arrive, those who have gone on to a greater life in Christ, giving thanks that we have this moment to proclaim glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to all whom God favors. And God favors all. Merry Christmas. My brothers and sisters in Christ, will you please stand? If you wish, take a moment to stomp your feet and warm up a bit. We will affirm our faith with the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our third, he suffered under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. Let me all be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacrament. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. That light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Gracious God, what we have asked faithfully, grant effectually to the workings and will of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. I bid you greet one another socially distant in the name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ. I have a good evening. good evening. I bid you peace and grace. Please be seated. First, to all those who are gathering with us virtually, we bid you peace and a Merry Christmas. And uh, we're glad you're with us. And uh, if everyone can just give a good shouted Merry Christmas to all. Um, we'll uh, let them know we're, we're also here thinking of them. So one, two, three. Merry there you go. <laughs> um, I want to uh, commend a number of things to you. The first is a welcome, 
a welcome here and now a welcome home to St. Peter's. Know that we are glad you are here. Please do join in the Eucharist if you feel so minded. If you would prefer to remain in your, in, in your seat and not come up, please join in a spiritual communion. Um, it is perfectly within your purview to choose to just be present with the sacrament, and that is valid as well as taking it in. I respect the fact that everyone has to make the right choices for themselves in terms of their care and their own well-being. Please do make those choices mindfully. As well, if you'd like to join us tomorrow, we will be inside for Christmas Day at 10 a.m. And then we're hoping for first Christmas at 9 a.m. again inside the building. And again, we will still maintain masks and also social distancing and hand hygiene. Please do be mindful of that. As we prepare for Eucharist, please be aware that the ushers will offer you an invitation to come from where you are sitting to come forward to receive communion. You'll see arrows that are on the pathway to come up on this side and return on that side. If you'd be so kind as to keep that order, we appreciate it. And there will be hand sanitizer available to you. I will be sanitizing shortly before I handle any of the vessels or any of the elements of communion. Again, we are so blessed to be able to be with you all. The last announcement I have is a big thank you and a blessing upon our Sunday school. The kids were amazing earlier this week on Sunday. They recorded a shadow puppet play for your edification enjoyment. It will be premiering at 5.30 tonight on YouTube. So go to our St. Peter's Spotswood YouTube channel and you can check that out. I wanna commend them for the great job they did on uh, making and creating the, their puppets as well as acting out and reading all of the parts. I'd like to thank my wife who helped design and create the stage. Um, I was just coming down here to make a box. You'll see the beauty that she applied. So um, thank you for making me a better man and a better priest, hon. I, I saw a Tony Award winning design effort on, on your part, hon. Merry Christmas. Let us with gladness present the offerings and oblations of our life and labor to the Lord. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. Please rise. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ your only Son to be born for us who by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
whenever you drink it. Do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. If you have your uh, lights and like, would like to crack those as we complete the uh, post-communion prayer before the blessing, we'll sing a verse of Silent Night. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Laura, can you come up and give me a hand? I'm going to be difficult. I'm going to have, find it difficult getting the right note, but you can, you can always get me back on, on key. I'm sorry to do it to you, hon. I need you. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> And everyone help. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with his joy and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Que Cristo, que por en su encarnación junto las cosas terrenas y las celestiales, es llene con su gregueso y su paz, y la benedicción de Dios Todopoderoso, el Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo, Sea con ustedes y permanezca siempre con ustedes. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Merry Christmas.